I'll ever for battle with Crawford. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. And it's always interesting to hear my honourable member. And I'm glad that he did acknowledge that he does not know all things about all things. Uh, so, so I appreciate his, his, his moment of transparency in that regard. However, I, I would make a quick note before my simple question regarding the rewriting of history. And I was speaking with another colleague just before um, coming back to the House. And we said, isn't it incredible that this year started out with what very well could have been the issue of the, the year, and that was that of the rail blockade. So for the member to suggest that the economy was just moving along in the right direction prior to COVID is a, is a rewriting of history in, in an epic way. So I would encourage the member to look carefully at his government's record in that regard. Now, one of the questions that I've heard about a number of the programs, including the wage subsidy from many constituents, is they are concerned about the complexities associated with the application, the accounting, and for large corporations who have accounting departments and legal teams and whatnot, well, it's quite straightforward. They send the, the ap application to their departments and it gets all sorted out. But for a small business, for a mom-and-pop shop, for those, those, the, those smaller entities that need the support, increasing the complexity of the wage subsidy I don't think was the right direction. So I would certainly uh, like to hear from the member across the way how, how he can reconcile the increasing of complexities in a program that, in, instead of increasing the complexity, shouldn't have, have been made more simple so that, especially for those small and medium-sized enterprises, that they could be able to access these applications with ease so that the economy can get moving in the right direction again. Yeah. Parliamentary Secretary. Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. Uh, first, uh, in regards to the Indigenous uh, issue or the blockades that were uh, taking place, you know, there were, there were actually a number of issues, as there are in any given uh, year, um, at the, that make it to the national level. I, I know that there is a very tragic airline uh, that was shot down, which many people, at least on this side of the House, uh, felt very, uh, very passionate about. I like to think that all members of the House uh, did. So there's, uh, you know, a number of different issues. When when you do uh, just a, a cross comparison, and I was here for a number of those years when uh, Stephen Harper was the Prime Minister, if you do a cross comparison, you will find in terms of economic performance that we virtually did two to one in terms of better when it came to issues like jobs than, than the Harper administration. That's the type of history that you can't really uh, change, and that's what it is that uh, I was uh, referencing. Does it come 